Judy, because this is a police involved shooting, it is up to the Illinois State Police to determine whether Dalton's officers acted appropriately. But while the investigation itself is in the hands of a third party, detectives here were able to provide us with some information about what led up to the shooting. It was an early morning call for help that police say ended with a man dead inside his car in an alley in South Suburban Dalton. Residents woken up by the shouting and gunshots. The commands were so loud, like they literally sound like it was in my backyard. And that's what got me up. I'm like, who is in my backyard? And so when I kind of got up out of the bed and sat on the side of my bed, and then that's when I heard the gunfire go off. I was told by an officer that they got a call for a domestic a few times during the night. Um, from the neighbor, and when they arrived on scene, the man had a gun. The dead man say police was the ex-boyfriend of a woman who lives inside this home and that she had a restraining order against him. Investigators telling ABC7 when the first officer arrived on the scene, they approached him inside his car and saw he had a gun. They opened fire only after officers repeated calls to drop the weapon went unheeded. Well, I heard the gunshots. I immediately got on the floor because you don't know, you know, you know where gunfire is actually coming from. The shooting hitting a bit too close to home for some of those who live here. I don't know them. I don't know them very well. I just know that my son does sometimes come outside and play with the kids um, that live there. Now, the suspect has not yet been identified pending family notification. As for the officers involved in the shooting, they have, per protocol, been placed on 30 days administrative duty. Live in Dalton, I'm Michelle Gallardo, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Rep, back to you. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.